Hi book lovers, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you have noticed in some of my recent book hauls, but I've kind of started collecting special edition books this year. So today I wanted to share some of my favorites from my collection. I'm also going to include some rare books that I own, some out of print romances that you can't really buy anymore that you have to find secondhand. But these are going to be mostly special editions from book boxes. They're either going to be like books that I love, they're going to be authors that I love, authors that I collect, or I just really love the look of the book. So let's just jump into it. I'm going to be going through these by author. And the first author that I have is actually one that I literally just met in person. It's Julia Quinn and her special editions of the Bridgerton series. They're all eight books in the series. They all have these sprayed edges, different colors. They are naked hardcover so they don't have dust jackets or anything but they do have some very nice foiling. If you line up all the spines together they do make like a, a little house, the Bridgerton house. Hopefully you can see that. It's kind of hard to hold on to them. But I did get to meet Julia Quinn over the weekend. She was at this historical romance book signing and of course I brought these special editions to get signed. She was actually so happy to see them because she didn't, she doesn't even have her own copies yet. So this was literally her first time seeing these special editions in person, but they are so, so pretty. I mean, yes, they're a little bit simple compared to like, you know, a whole bunch of other book boxes, but it kind of works for the series. And plus it made buying the set not that expensive. This one is book one, The Duke and I. Book two with a B, The Viscount Who Loved Me. Book three, The Cinderella Retelling, An Offer from a Gentleman. Book four, Romancing Mr. Bridgerton. Book five, which is my favorite, To Sir Philip with Love. Book six is When He Was Wicked. Book seven is It's In His Kiss. And then the last book, book eight, is On the Way to the Wedding. It's a beautiful set though and I do love the rainbow of colors. Cam Godwin is one of my favorite dark romance authors and I have four special editions from her. These first two were from the same box, from Mystic Box, and it's got two of my favorites from her. Sea Rune, which is my all-time favorite, at least right now. It's her dark pirate historical romance, and it was amazing. So getting to have this gorgeous special edition it's perfect. And here's this gorgeous hardcover of Dark Notes, which is her taboo romance. I love the sprayed edges for this. And I do have another special edition of Dark Notes. This is from Hello Lovely Box. This is the paperback and it's got a really nice cover as well. It's so, so pretty. I mean, do I need two copies of this? Well, actually three because I have the original too. Probably not, but I'm still happy with these. And then I also have her Priest Romance, which is Lessons in Sin. This is a special edition from the Dangerous Romance box, and I loved it. I mean, this was one of my favorites from last year, I think. That's when it came out. But obviously, when I saw they had a special edition for it, I needed it. And then I have a special edition of another book that was a total favorite of mine last year. This special edition cover is one of those covers that is infinitely better than the original, at least the original before the author changed it. But it's this special edition of Morning Glory Milking Farm by Siemnes Costa. This was in the Hello Lovely box, spooky box from last October and I fell in love with that box because I love this book so much but I refused to buy the paper bag of the book because it had such an ugly cover. This one is adorable though. I mean, does it really match what the actual book is about? Probably not, although it's still got, you know, the milk thing, so it it does relate. It's a monster romance with a literal minotaur hero, but still, I adore this cover so much. And then I have these three special editions from TJ Klune, who I adore, and these special editions are so freaking beautiful. So the latest one that I got is actually from a bookstore from the UK. It was from Waterstones. It's the new hardcover of Wolf Song, which just got picked up by a publisher, so they kind of redid it and released it in the this new hardcover and Waterstones did this beautiful sprayed edges for it. So this book is just stunning and it's thick. I love this series though and I'm so excited for Waterstones to do the rest of the series because I need them. And then I also have these beautiful Illumicrate special editions of The House on the Cerulean Sea and Under the Whispering Door. These are the original covers but they have these beautiful sprayed edges. Oh my god, I'm obsessed with them. And the naked hardcovers for them are 
unbelievable. So this is what the hardcover of Under the Whispering Door looks like. Stunning. And then this one is House and the Cerulean Sea. Oh my god. I've also gotten some book boxes, special editions from Australia, and shipping is killer. But I knew I needed to get this series from Tay James as soon as I saw there was going to be a book box for it. Even though I hadn't read the Guild trilogy yet, I knew I loved the author, so I was like, okay, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love the series, so I'll just buy it in case, and thank god I ended up loving the books. But yes, these are the special editions of the Guild Trilogy by Tate James. They are like this cloth-bound hardcover style with foiling on them. Like, look at this gold foiling. So this is book one, which is Honey Trap, and it's also got the honeycomb sprayed edges, which is so nice. Also matching end pages, of course. Here is book two, which is Dead Drop. I think the color scheme for the series is based off the original covers. It's like dark grayish, bluish, black. Oh, and here are the sprayed edges. And then the last book in the series, which is Thick, it's Kill Order. Like, look at this chunky boy. It's big. And it's got like my favorite sprayed edges of the three books. They're so beautiful though. I'm in love with them. And again, <laughs> I'm so glad I ended up actually loving the books. I also have some historical romances that I have to show off because they are rare and they are out of print. And you have no idea how happy I was to be able to find all of these before things got pricey and everyone realized how, you know, how valuable these books were. So I have the original old school OG covers of the very first four books that Lisa Kleypas ever wrote and released. This one is her debut, which is Where Passion Leads, and it's probably the rarest book of hers. It's the hardest one to find, especially for like a a reasonable price. But this was her first book and it came out back in 1987. Her second book and the sequel to Where Passion Leads is Forever My Love. It's got another stunning old school cover. Here's the back cover. This one is Love Come To Me and it was actually my favorite of the four because I ended up reading all of them. If you want to hear my thoughts, I do have a video on them, but this one is the fourth one, which is Give Me Tonight and it's her time travel romance. So these four books, I will literally treasure them to death, especially the first two because you can't even read them anymore. They don't have ebook editions or anything. It is almost impossible to find them now. And then just a bonus book. This one isn't quite as rare as those ones, but it is one of my favorites from her and it's got one of my favorite step backs from Lisa Kleypas. It's Dreaming of You. This is what the beautiful step back looks like. And also just look how nice the front cover is. All that foiled embossing and the ribbon on the side. I love it. Okay, going back to the special editions, this is the special edition of Gothicana by Rue Nix. I love the look of this one. I love the feel of it. It's just, it's so beautiful. And the cover is absolutely perfect for this gothic romance book. I know it's spooky season, so if anyone needs a spooky read, highly recommend this one. And then one of my all-time favorites is Laura Thalassa, so obviously I have to collect all of her books. And thank god I've been reading and loving her for a very long time because that's how I ended up getting the original cover of Pestilence. I bought this when it first came out and this was back when I didn't really buy paperbacks that much, so you know, past me was a smart cookie. Because there's a whole cover thing with this book, like the artist had stolen this image, so obviously Laura Thalassa had to change up the cover, but I'm not gonna lie, this original cover is still so freaking beautiful. So I have this beautiful original and I did end up getting it signed at a polycon. It says I love you. Laura was the absolute sweetest to meet. And then I have these beautiful editions from the Arcane Society. These are the Four Horsemen books and just look at that gold foiling. I'm obsessed. They've also got some really nice sprayed edges too, but I am in love with the hardcovers. I love how they look. So this one is Pestilence book one. My Man War is book two. I love the red of this. This one is book three, which is Famine. And then book four, My Other Man, Death. This one is the final book in the series. And just look at all that pretty gold foiling. I also found this gorgeous historical romance with all gold foiling on the cover. Like, look at this. It's Gypsy Lord by Kat Martin. I haven't even read this book, but I knew I needed it. And plus, it has the most stunning step back. Like, look at that. 
beautiful. It came signed. I found this on eBay and it was a signed copy. So this is honestly one of my favorite finds. I am so happy with this and I will eventually get to reading it, but I just love the look of it. I also am in love with the bookish box editions of A Touch of Darkness and A Game of Fate. I mostly love them for the beautiful art on the cover. I love the artwork for these special editions so much and they also have some sprayed edges and some very nice gold foiling too. I'm also obsessed with the smutty art inside the books as well. Like look at that. That one was A Touch of Darkness and this one is a game of fate. So this set I mostly 90% love it for the look of it because I did end up enjoying the series but it's not like a top favorite. This next special edition I love it just because of the author. I mean the cover it's cute nothing amazing or anything but it's Jessica Kane okay. I think it's literally the only like physical copy of her books that exists. It's called Rolling in the Dough and it's actually like a, a two novella in one kind of book where it's got the first two books in that foodie romance series of hers. So this bind up includes a pinch of sugar and a dash of spice. The only thing is the series is a trilogy. There are three novellas and I'm not sure why they didn't just include the third novella in this book, in this paperback, because it's already pretty thin. But still, I love it because it's just a cane. It's signed by her, whoever, whoever she is. So I do love it. Allie Hazelwood is one of my favorites. So of course, I had to get her Illuma Crate Special Editions. They've done both of her books so far, The Love Hypothesis and Love on the Brain. They have the original covers, but they kind of changed up the colors for them. They also do have sprayed edges. But my favorite part is definitely the naked hardcover, because it's got some gold foiling of the illustration from the cover. Like look how adorable that is. And then of course foiling on the spine. And then here is Levi and B from Love on the Brain. And then one of my favorite bookworm box special editions is this edition of Lilac by B.B. Reed. I have three copies of this book now. I don't know how or why, but I do. But I love the look of this cover so much. It's like a, a rock star reverse harem. I really liked it. Although anytime I see this cover, because of how spoiled I am with foiling now on these special edition books, I'm like, damn this title would look really good in some foil. And then one of my favorites from Dark and Quirky Book Box is this beautiful edition of Inked and Lies by Gianna Darling. I have not read this one yet, but I love how it looks. It's absolutely gorgeous. I've only read the first three books in the Fallen Men series. I've been saying that for about two years now. I haven't gone past book three, but I, I eventually will. This one I think is book five, and I know a lot of people love it, so I am excited to get to this. Like, look at this, this back cover too. It's just stunning. And this next one is one of my all-time favorite series. I've been on the hunt for the special edition for ages and I was finally able to find it. It's this beautiful edition of the Mason Jar series by Devney Perry. It's a bind up of both books in one paperback and it's so beautiful. It's got this gorgeous red foiling on it. Oh my god. I'm in love. So it has book one, The Birthday List, and book two, Letters to Molly. And the inside is just as stunning. Here is the birthday list, the chapter header interiors. Like, ugh, look how beautiful. And then here is Letters to Molly with this chapter heading. I love it so much. I'm so, so happy I was able to find this. I also have some special books from another favorite of mine, Tessa Bailey. This is her adorable special edition of Window Shopping, which is her Christmas romance. This one was from Hello Lovely Box, and this is a very rare copy of My Killer Vacation with the original cover. It's actually got the same cover artist as Window Shopping. So this was the original cover before the whole fiasco, and Tessa Bailey changed it, but I did get an arc of it with this original cover and it's you know never it's never been available for purchase so the only way you could get this book with this cover is through arcs that the author sent out so it's a very rare copy and I do treasure it. I'm also in love with my special editions of the St. Pete Prison series by L. Thorpe. These are the ones with the discreet covers and the gold foiling on them like they are so freaking shiny. So here's book one which is Locked Up Liars. Book two is Solitary Sinners and then book three is Fatal Felons. So this series, this trilogy, it's reverse harem, romantic suspense, and I love it. As soon as I saw the author had these up for sale on her website, 
I knew I needed them. And then here's another historical romance, an out of print historical romance that I absolutely adore. It's Indigo by Beverly Jenkins, which is one of my all time favorite books. I have this original cover with the gorgeous old school illustration. It's also got some nice foiling on it. Like old school historical romances were the first ones to do this kind of embossing and foiling on these covers. And then one of my favorites from Bell Book Box is this beautiful hardcover of A Gorgeous Villain by Saffron A. Kent. Like look at how beautiful it is. I love the cover, the sprayed edges, and because there was a misprint on the naked hardcover, the book box ended up sending um, a replacement dust jacket to cover it up and they added all this nice silver foiling too. I love it. I haven't read the book though so I can't say if it's good or not but I love this simply because of how it looks. And then I have this gorgeous edition of Darling Venom by Parker S. Huntington. It's got such a unique look to it and of course all the rose gold foiling is amazing. Here is the spine and then the back cover with a quote. So this one is from Beyond the Pages book box. This is what the inside looks like. I love this interior artwork so much. I also really love the book too. It was a very expensive box because it's from Australia but I think it is around the time it was around my birthday when it went on sale so I was like okay fine I'll treat myself. I also love this beautiful special edition of A Shadow in the Ember by Jennifer L. Armentrout that people got at a polycon. I had a friend who was so nice enough to give me this one. Look at all that beautiful red foiling. I love it. And then here is the sprayed edges. It's even got her signature on the back. And then I also have this beautiful edition of the Cat and Mouse duet by H.D. Carlton. This is the omnibus that the author herself made. Like she did a whole book box for it. I was able to get one of the like scratch and dent copies, but honestly, it looks perfect to me. So here's the cover with the embossed title, the gold embossed title, the spine with some more foiling. And then the back is actually my favorite part. I love the look of this. And then of course some more foiled embossing. And I think the messed up part was actually the sprayed edges, but honestly if you look at it like this, it kind of looks perfect to me. Here's some of the artwork on the inside pages, and here's the chapter artwork. And then saving the best for last is Penelope Douglas. This is my collection of their special edition books. I don't actually have all of them because I missed like one or two because I didn't even know about them. But of course the ones that I do have I will die buried with. Birthday Girl, this special edition of Birthday Girl from Mystic Box is probably the most coveted special edition that I've seen around. This one goes for a lot of money but someone will have to tear this out of my cold dead hands before I ever let go of it. It doesn't even have any foiling or anything, no sprayed edges because it was one of the first special editions that Mystic Box did, but it's still so beautiful and I love this book so much. It's honestly the top tier age gap romance, the age gap forbidden romance. And then there's also the special editions of the Devil's Night series from Mystic Box. Like look how amazing they look. This one is book one, Corrupt. Book two is Hideaway. And then book three, my favorite is Kill Switch. I'm sure they'll eventually do the fourth one to complete the set, but I love how they look. And then the final special edition in this video is Credence, which is from Hello Lovely Box. It's got the perfect winter vibes, the cabin with the snow. It's so perfect for this book, which is one of my favorites. Not gonna lie, this Penelope Douglas collection that I have is probably my favorite of all the books that I own. I just love Penelope Douglas so much. But that is it for my favorite special editions in my collection. Let me know your thoughts on these books, what you think of the covers of these editions. Do you have any special editions that you're obsessed with or you're dying to get your hands on? Let me know because I am very into special editions right now as you can tell and I'm sure my collection is only going to grow bigger. Like I'm trying to trying to hold off on you know buying everything but sometimes these book boxes just have amazing authors that I can't resist. Thank you so much for watching though. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all next time. Bye!